everybody, it's Dagged Hills, and today I'm going to be showing you my Ibanez Gem Jr. It's been modified. I want to show you what I did to it. So let's do it. Okay, well, let's open it up. Well, here it is, the Ibanez Gem Jr. It's been modified, like I said. The case is so beautiful. They really do a nice job on these cases. There's the whammy bar there. Well, there it is. Let me get it out of the case and I'll show you exactly what I did to it. Beautiful guitar. I love that monkey grip. Well, let's do it. Okay, well, I have it on my DNA stand here. They're pretty nice stands. But let's start at the top. Let's see, it's the Ibanez Jim Jr. First thing I did was replace the truss rod cover, and I put gold screws. And then this little string retainer, I changed that. It was done in a... I think it's called Cosmos Black, like the tuners. I left the tuners. I didn't want to go all gold, so I left those. Then if you can see, I did the top clamps on the locking nut, but I didn't do the whole nut. I kind of like the twin colors of the black Cosmos and the gold. Okay, here's the beautiful neck. Now this is a 2016, so they still use rosewood. I think now they use another type of wood, but it has the beautiful Tree of Life inlay. The earlier Jim Juniors, they would stop, but this one goes all the way. I forget where they'd stop, up after the 12th fret. But I'm glad I got it when I did, to have the rosewood. Okay, so next I put on these gold shallower strap lock nuts. In fact, all the parts I put on were shallower. The locky nut clamps, the... I'll show you, I have something else too in the back. Okay, so now it's time for the major part I did. First, I got a custom pick guard, a perloid pick guard. The Jim Juniors come with just a white pick guard. And they come with some, I think they're called quantum pickups, which are, they they sounded actually pretty good, but I wanted to go all out. So what I did was stripped it all out, got the new pick guard, and I got some Gravity Storm pickups in the neck, in the bridge. And then in the middle is an Evolution. And I completely rewired it. I put in CTS pots, the volume and the tone. I left the switch because that was kind of hard to find, and that one worked nice. But I also went to all gold screws. Funny, but the hard ones to get were these for the switch. I had to get them at the hardware store. I have a local Ace Hardware, and they carry all these trippy screws. I spend like an hour in there looking for different stuff. But so I put those awesome pickups in. Completely rewired everything. I left the bridge the same. I didn't want to get the gold one. It was gonna, I didn't like too much gold on here. So I left that stock. But that's what I did. It plays beautifully. It's a great guitar. Some people go all out and they get the new tremolo, the bridge, and everything. And I just thought I'd do a little bit. Let me show you what else I did. These stands are killer because they have a little protective thing and it's spring loaded so it's really secure but when you pick the guitar up out it opens. You can see the nut there what I did. The last thing I did was put this uh, little Allen wrench holder on the back. You seem to use the Allen wrenches a lot when you have a locky nut and everything. 
so I added that it fit pretty well there that's shallower as well but keep them handy you can see the black cosmos kind of goes well with the gold has the beautiful unfinished neck it's a wizard three really fast neck and then the beautiful body and then I also replaced the tremolo cavity with a perloid cover and then the little input jack that when you get the gem junior they come as black so I wanted to go all out I also put the gold screws so that's about it So there you have my beautiful Ibanez Gem Junior Modified Guitar. I love that case. A beautiful neck. That's the whammy bar there. Shine of the gold. Beautiful neck too. I love those inlays. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care.